dying won't get you anything. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Rogus. It is a roguelike dungeon platformer, a very tight dungeon platformer, where you use your score to cast assorted magical spells in order to defeat zombies and goblins and get further into the dungeon. It is very twitchy and very fun, although it might lack some extended replayability, but that is uh, something we shall see. You start out in the tavern. You shall not pa Oh, it's you. Hi. Back for some action. Grab your spells. So, you can see this game has a bit of humor. Here's the feather spell which helps me to fly. There is uh, a sword spell which casts thunder. There's a high score table. My high score is 4810. Are we absolutely sure these monsters aren't friendly? Why? Because I killed so many of them? Here's the Hiracom legendary beer. And that like slams you to the ground. Reaper Chili Pepper lets you cast a fireball. Wheel of Cheese lets you turn into a rat. Let's see what they actually do. Whoosh! Get into the dungeon. Hello, home again, home again, jiggity jog. Alright, so you'll notice uh, I get some score for traveling a, a distance, but that score is minimal compared to what I get for killing goblins or strings of goblins. Your firebell spell costs five points, which isn't bad, but uh, the larger spells like the treant spell cost significantly more. It's kind of fun to balance between, you know, should I spend my points or, or do I want to keep them to try and get the high score? And Of course, you usually want to get the high score, but dying won't get you anything. So, I am I am slaughtering some, some goblins right now. This is some awesome ninja mastery. You don't think of uh, wizards as like the most agile creatures of the realm, but this this guy's doing some total damage. <laughs> it's a pretty fun game, really twitchy, and if you're not good at uh, catching those guys that cast the spells, they can they can easily one-shot you. I really enjoy the sound. Running through the dungeon really does feel like an epic adventure. Maybe too epic for a game that doesn't take itself so seriously, but still I, I think it fits pretty well, and it's not it's not boring to listen to. I like the platforming. It's quite tight. Thunder! And allows you to do either a short or a large leap. It's kind of nice. Oh, and it, it's over that quick. <laughs> so I didn't beat my high score, but uh, I guess that's okay. So friends, this has been Rogus, a lovely, lovely roguelike with... Uh, it, it lacks a little content, but I think it has massive potential. So I will give this game a solid 6 out of 10. Uh, if there's more content in the future, I will be glad to update the score. So friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Rogus. I hope you'll join us for whatever we decide to do next. Until then, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three.